This is a coddling moth trap and the purpose of this trap is to catch the little moth that uh, lays an egg on apples and makes apples wormy. So if you don't want wormy apples you can spray with chemicals or you can put out a natural trap that acts as a pheromone and it will attract the moth before it can lay the egg and over time I have found that I never have wormy apples anymore. I've been doing it about three or four years. And so um, this is a safe way if you have animals and you have grandchildren or children. This is a safe way to catch a, an insect that you don't want in your garden and not have any chemicals or sprays and it keeps your apples then healthy and you can eat the apples right off the tree. So the first thing I do is I take a quarter of a cup of vinegar apple cider vinegar, not apple cider flavored vinegar, and not distilled vinegar. And I pour it in the measuring cup, and then I take a quarter of a cup of molasses, and pour that in the same measuring cup, and then I take an eighth of a teaspoon of ammonia, which is just a little dab. And I mix it up. And then I'm going to add water to this. I'm going to add five cups of water. And after that, and it smells really potent. It smells kind of like apple cider. And the molasses kind of starts a, a fermentation. So, um, it kind of has a potent smell, and I've noticed that it keeps that smell for a long time. This is the attractant for the moth. Then you take a two liter bottle, and what you're going to do with the two liter bottle is cut out a hole about three inches by five inches at the top part of it. After you have mixed up your mixture with five cups of water, you've cut out the hole out of the bottle, you are going to put a hole in the bottle somewhere around the top. And what I do is I just get a piece of wire and I heat it up on the gas range and I poke a hole through the top of the bottle. And so then I have a handle or a hook to hook it on the tree. So you've cut out your little space in your bottle, you pour in some of the liquid, and I put in usually probably two or three inches of the liquid, and that'll be down at the bottom, sitting there quite far away from the entry hole. So when the moth goes in, he can't get out, he flies around, he falls in the liquid, and he dies. So every once in a while you might want to clean these out, however, I don't usually do that, I just kind of refresh them, I might put some more back in halfway through the season of the liquid and then I just leave them all year and then I just toss them out in the fall when I'm done with them because they kind of have a lot of moths in the bottom and they're kind of stinky and so I don't reuse them. Some people wash them out and reuse them. If you um, do this early on when your apples are about the size of a when your apples are about the size of a marble, you will not have any problems with that moth. You'll catch that moth early on, and so um, that's kind of the goal. I never, if you put it out when the apples are smaller, all the better, but I'm usually too busy to 
uh, think about it until the apples are about marble size, but I've had good luck with hanging them out then. And I put, if the tree is big, and I mean really big, let's say 15 feet across, 25 feet tall, I'll hang two or three. If it's a little new tree, I'll just hang one. And once you hang them up, you can smell this all around the tree, so it acts as a good, good attractant for the codling moth, which in our area is a problem for apple growers. Thank you.